and this is a market that's growing fast. It's a big opportunity, over 2.3, 2.4 million units. And uh, we want to be where the action is, and this is a chance to do that. The B SUV segment uh, is growing. The B SUV segment is big, and we've had great success with the seven-seat Atlas. So now we feel there's an opportunity to divide that segment. If you look at about 40% of that segment is comprised of you know, a five-seat vehicle, and that's where the Atlas Cross Sport comes in. Yeah, I think in, in essence, uh, the SUV market as a total has grown significantly in the United States. We, for quite some time, have had a strategy to double up in two of the biggest segments, the A SUV strategy and then what we would call the midsize SUV strategy, where we have the Atlas today. That segment is really split between five-seaters and seven-seaters, and for that reason, we've designed the, the Crossport um, to participate. The folks that are driving around with the seven-seat, they love their functionality, but we've also heard from some of our customers that we don't necessarily need the, the third-seat role. Knowing that we have the Atlas and the platform there already, we were able then to very quickly come up with the Atlas Crossport. The seven-seater really is about practicality. Uh, it's about space. It's very much about families. The five-seater is a little bit more design. It's a little bit more image. You know, if you think about it, it's a lot more about showing up as opposed to showing off. It's marginally shorter than the Atlas. Um, it obviously does not have the third row. So we plan to have this slightly more stylish looking vehicle um, in the market. For that reason, we believe there are probably two key buyers. Firstly, those customers who are starting out a small family. And then we also believe it'll also appeal to another uh, stage in your life, which is basically the empty nester phase. We want to make sure we make a Volkswagen SUV. And there's some core attributes of a Volkswagen you always want to hang on to. I think obviously we want to hang on to the driving characteristics. Just because a vehicle gets bigger doesn't mean you don't want to put a smile on someone's face. I think the second thing is very smart packaging. We've always been fantastic at packaging with Golfs. We want to make sure we keep that packaging idea and aesthetic as we get into SUVs. And the third one is the technology. I think we're doing a fantastic job in terms of the electronics, in terms of the safety systems and everything else that we're bringing into the car. So if we can keep the spirit of Volkswagen and give our point of view on SUVs, that's where the magic is. Our aim right now is, is to, to really make an impression. We know design is very important. And so it was a big focus then as we concepted this car and, and went through the development phase. Uh, I think we've been able to really nail it here with the, with the, the expressive design that we've uh, put forth with Atlas Crossport. We know we have pretty big plans with our SUV portfolio here for the North American region. This is the first step forward in our expansion and I think there's still more to come. I think just the fact that already uh, a lot of our research has indicated that the customers are very excited about the design. Um, that's been very, very encouraging. I'm very excited about the fact too that most of the customers saw this as a very different car to Atlas. I think often in this kind of strategy, you run the risk of you know, putting a car into the market that just substitutes another. Uh, and we were very excited to see that there, there seems to be a very different customer for this car. So I'm very excited about the design. I'm very excited about the new tech. Um, I'm excited about the, team, the interior getting uh, improving. It's gonna be a vehicle that really will turn heads and people will look at this car, again, particularly in the R-Line guys, and say, wow, that really is sexy. Um, this is something that, you know, says something about who I am um, and I want that car. I'm extremely excited to see it now today with this reveal come across the line after three years of, of work here uh, from the region. We've put together, uh, I think, a pretty good package. It's going to stand out very quick and win the attention. And uh, just like the Atlas has really started to take off, I think the Crossport will follow very quickly as well, addressing the specific needs of those customers in the five-seat segment. In my mind, with the five-seat market, it will do quite well. I think these are people that want to be distinguished, they want to stand out, uh, and they want a car that helps them stand out. And I think the brilliant thing about Volkswagen is we can help them stand out at a great price point. Anyone can stand out spending seventy, eighty thousand dollars on a vehicle, but a car with this kind of road presence, a car with this kind of character, a car with this type of visual appeal uh, at this price point is something that's powerful, and uh, it's something Volkswagen should be proud of, and we are proud of.
talking about electrical, metalworking, machining, robotics, PLC, and we combine that with OJT. So they train here for two or three months, and then, and then they go to the plant, to the shops, and apply. We're not only developing people for Volkswagen, they can opt out and go to other OEMs, and they can also finish their graduate program on their own college. So that's why this apprenticeship program is so valuable, not only for Volkswagen, but also for, for Chattanooga. We throw activities all around the academy so they can come and relate to some of the uh, Volkswagen uh, manufacturing uh, environment.